Your merciful love, O God, we have received in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with saving justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Prophet Hosea. The Lord says this, Israel, come back to the Lord your God. Your iniquity was the cause of your downfall. Provide yourself with words and come back to the Lord. Say to him, take all iniquity away so that we may have happiness again and offer you our words of praise. Assyria cannot save us. We will not ride horses anymore or say our God to what our own hands have made. For you are the one in whom orphans find compassion. I will heal their disloyalty. I will love them with all my heart. For my anger has turned from them. I will fall like dew on Israel. He shall bloom like the lily and trust out roots like the poplar. His shoots will spread far. He will have the beauty of the olive and the fragrance of Lebanon. They will come back to live in my shade. They will grow corn that flourishes. They will cultivate vines as renowned as the wine of Helman. What has Ephraim to do with idols anymore when it is I who hear his prayer and care for him? I am like a cypress evergreen all your fruitfulness comes from me. Let the wise men understand these words. Let the intelligent man grasp their meaning. For the ways of the Lord are straight, and virtuous men walk in them. But sinners stumble. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My mouth shall declare your praise. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offence. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My mouth shall declare your praise. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. My mouth shall declare your praise. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. My mouth shall declare your praise. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor, sustain me. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. My mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, Alleluia. The word of the Lord remains forever. What is this word? It is the good news that has been brought to you. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel, According to Matthew, glory to you, O Lord. Jesus instructed the twelve as follows. Remember, I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. So be cunning as serpents and yet as harmless as doves. Beware of men. They will hand you over to Sanhedrins 
and scourge you in their synagogues. You will be dragged before governors and kings for my sake, to bear witness before them and the pagans. But when they hand you over, do not worry about how to speak or what to say. What you are to say will be given to you when the time comes, because it is not you who will be speaking. The Spirit of your Father will be speaking in you. Brother will betray brother to death, and father his child. Children will rise against their parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all men on account of my name, but the man who stands firm to the end will be saved. If they persecute you in one town, take refuge in the next. And if they persecute you in that, take refuge in another. I tell you solemnly, you will not have gone the round of the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come to me. All week, Jesus has been calling us in the scripture readings. In the first reading for today, God again calls us. This time, through the prophet Hosea, he invites us to turn from our worship of false gods and come back to him. Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. The Lord even gives his people the words to say. Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands. Assyria here stands for any worldly power that we might be tempted to look to for our security. Just as Israel was tempted to make an alliance with Assyria in order to get protection from other nations. So here, God is urging us to stop looking for security in worldly arrangements, military power, or human systems. He also urges us to stop saying our God to the work of our own hands. That is, to stop acting as if what we can create can take the place of God in our lives. Instead, we are to come to Him asking for forgiveness. If we heed the Lord's call to us and turn back to Him as He invites us to do, then the rest of the reading assures us in the most tender way that God will shower us with abundant blessings. We can be sure of His mercy and goodness any time we come to Him. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely. In light of the Lord's tender invitation to return to Him today, we do well to read through the responsorial psalm slowly and make it a prayer of return to God with our whole heart. His Word is not meant for us simply to read and move on. It is for us to ponder and put into practice. So we stop now and say to Him, Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In your greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offence. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and from my sin, cleanse me. If we make this prayer in sincerity of heart, then the Lord can and will do in us what He has said in the first reading. He will heal. He will restore us, enabling us to grow and prosper in His grace. And this is exactly how the Kingdom of Heaven spreads, as the Gospel acclamation for the past two days indicated. God's grace breaks into our hearts and draws us away from the ways of the world and into following God's ways. And then we, in turn, are sent out, like the Apostles, to go forth, to invite others to do what we ourselves have done. Come to the Lord. Reject the ways of the world. Put aside your false gods and return to the one true God who
who loves you and is longing to heal you. We do not have to worry about how we will say these things. For as Jesus assures us, the Spirit will speak through us. Jesus warns us, though, that this message will not always be welcome. Today he tells the apostles, I'm sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves. And later in the same passage, you will be hated by all because of my name. Indeed, he says that even our own family members might reject us so harshly as to want to put us to death. We should not be too surprised by that, since he himself was put to death for opposing the ways of the world. But he assures us that whoever endures to the end will be saved. We do none of this on our own power. All that we do from repentance and turning back to the Lord, to going out to spread His kingdom in the world, we do by the grace and power of the Holy Spirit who dwells in us. In today's Gospel acclamation, Jesus reminds us, when the Spirit of truth comes, He will guide you to all truth and remind you of all that I told you. Indeed, the Spirit will give us that grace to return to the Lord today with a sincere, repentant heart and show us how to share God's loving invitation with those around us. Let us pray now the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the price of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.